Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Ludwig Rellstab and Huber. This very beautiful chess game was played in Germany in 1925. Ludwig Rellstab had white pieces and he started with e4. Huber played e6, d4, d5, French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, unpinning e5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight from f to d7, why to move? How would you continue? Bishop takes bishop on e7 is the most played move in this position. Relstab played h4. This is a variation in which white sacrifices a pawn. Bishop takes bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Black to move. Should black capture the pawn or not? Huber did. Queen takes pawn. Black is a pawn up. White to move. How would you continue? Would you attack the queen with the knight? How would you go? Knight to h3 or knight to f3? Relsta played knight to h3, not knight to f3, because he wants to play queen to g4. Black queen is under attack, so we have queen to d8. Queen to g4, attacking the pawn on g7. g6, well, black didn't want to castle into it. If castling, then knight to g5. Doesn't look too good for black. So we have g6. Bishop to d3, c5. Ten moves have been played. Who is better? Black is better, of course, materially, one pawn only. Who is better developed? Black developed only one knight. White activated five pieces. And black has a problem on dark squares around his king. So it is safe to say that white has plenty of compensation for a sacrifice pawn and white is better. Do you agree? Okay, white to move. How would you continue? Black is threatening perhaps c4 and then bishop must go to e2. Relsta played Knight to b5, c takes on d4, black is threatening, knight takes pawn on e5. White to move, knight to d6, check. King to f8, white to move. How would you defend the pawn? Black is threatening, knight takes pawn on e5, what would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did you find this move? Defending the pawn, threatening a checkmate. If queen to f4, then black can capture the pawn on e5 at night and after queen takes f6, queen takes on d4, queen takes knight on d6. White is still better. But white has much better move than a queen to f4. White played a move that was so strong that black resigned on the spot. The move is knight takes on f7 fork in the queen and the rook. Black resigned in view of discontinuation. 
King takes knight. Knight to g5 check. If king goes to g7, the knight takes only 6 check, winning the queen. The same happens if king goes to f8. And if king goes to g8, then the queen takes only 6. King to g7, queen to f7. Check. Mate. Very nice attack. And let's go back to move 13. Did you see the killer move? If you did, congratulations. And what do you think of this very interesting line that white played h4 sacrificing the pawn for the initiative what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now